Hello everyone. How to find the value of x in the exponential equation? 4 power x plus 6 power x equals 9 power x. Firstly, you can see that 4 power x is not equal to 0, right? 4 power x is not equal to 0 when x belongs to real number. So therefore, you need to divide both sides by 4 power x. Therefore, you can write 4 power x over 4 power x plus 6 power x over 4 power x equals 9 power x over 4 power x. Right? So we can write 1 plus in this test, you can say a, a over b power whole power x equals a power x over b power x right therefore you can write here 6 over 4 whole power x and then here you write 9 over 4 whole power x right and then so we can have 1 plus uh, 6 over 4, you need to divide both sides by 2. You can have 3 over 2, how power x. And then you can write 3, now you can write 3 square and 4, 2 square. How, how power x. And so you can write 1 plus 3 over 2 power x equals because you can see a power n whole power m. You can write a power n times m is the exponential rule, right? Yes, therefore you can write 3 over 2 whole power 2x. Yes? And so in this step, everyone needs to have that. 3 over 2 whole power, whole power 2x. So we need to minus 3 over 2 whole power x and minus 1 equals, equals 0, right? So you need to put 3 over 2 whole power x equals equal t, right? In this case, t, t is smaller than or equals 0, right? Def, so you can see t square minus t and minus 1 equals equals 0, right? It's a quadratic equation. So we have two, two values of t, yes? Firstly, t1 equals minus b1, right? Plus, yeah, b square plus 4ac4, yeah over over 2 so it's equals 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 and so we have t2 equals 1 minus yeah the square root of 5 over 2 so we need to the requirement so therefore it's smaller than 0 so it's undivided and so, yeah, we have t equals 1 plus a square root of 5 over 2. So, therefore, we can have 3 over 2. How power x equals 1 plus a square root of 5 over 2. Right? <clears throat> and then you can apply logarithm. You can have logarithm of 3 over 2 how power x equals logarithm of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 right and then we can have x times logarithm for of 3 over 2 equals logarithm of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 right so we can say logarithm a over b equals natural logarithm a minus natural logarithm b right so and then we can say x 
times natural logarithm 3 minus natural logarithm 2 equals natural logarithm for 1 plus a square root of 5 minus natural logarithm of 2. Yeah, so therefore we can say we can have the value of x, x equals natural logarithm of 1 plus a square root of 5 minus natural logarithm of 2 over over here natural logarithm of 3 minus natural logarithm of, of 2 right is the values of x for the exponential equation right so thank you for watching my video don't forget to subscribe my channel love you all bye bye